Hi everyone, a very warm welcome to another episode of Thirsty Thursday. It is another bargain beer review. Today we have up from our friends at Jennings up in the beautiful Lake District here of the UK, a Red Breast. Now, I got this for one English pounds from supermarket chain Tesco here in the UK. It's 4.5% on the ABV. And I think the reason why it was so cheap is it's only eight months till Christmas. Anyway, fantastic, uh, sort of like a you know, Christmas card type uh, type labelling on it and with our well, standard Jennings Lakeland Ales uh, cap. Um, took this out of the fridge about an hour and a half ago. Um, let's get this bad boy popped and poured. A little bit of smoke, not a great deal. Wasn't expecting a lot to be honest as it's uh, been out of the fridge for a while but uh, let's give it a uh, a pour. You can see the colour on that already. Remind you of Christmassy type times, doesn't it? That's a I would class that as a chestnut colour. What do you reckon guys? Let's quickly give the glass a quick uh, quick bang, get any bubbles off the side. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic carbonation on that as well. Quite a big fan of Jennings. Um, they do some quite good stuff. They're about part of Masters now in the UK. But they do some pretty good stuff and it's always like a reasonable price as well. But head wise, that's a, got a nice, what, probably finger and three quarters, isn't it? Let's, let's go in for a smell. You get the malts on that, toffee, and maybe a little bit chocolatey as well. Let's see what it says on the back, because sometimes these seasonal ones have a, give it like a bit of a, of a narrative. Da, 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 da. Mm, no, unfortunately not. Come on, give me some more information about your beers. Not getting much on the hop, on the hop aromas to be honest. Let's go in for a taste. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, very good health. That's, I'll tell you what, that's a good mouthful on that. That is quite full bodied, but you really get the, it's, it's, it's a very sort of hearty, you know, full, full and grassy straw flavour in that. The sweetness is coming through now. I'm, I'm interested in maybe what sort of yeast they've done this with, uh, what sort of strain, because it's it's definitely got some fruity notes in there that maybe don't seem to come from the malts, that's, that come from something else. So I can only put that down to what yeast strain they used. It's all about the malts on this one. Hop wise, it's a combination in there. It's gonna be probably Styrian Goldings and a bit of Fuggles for good measure. But I'm still quite impressed how that head sort of still kicking about. Look at that, can you can you see that? Good lacing as well, but the pretty good legs too. Nice dry bitter finish. Yeah, I quite like that one. Um, as I say, that was one pound from supermarket Tesco here in the UK. They might be having a bit of a clear out. If you see one, go and pick one up. Definitely worth a pop. Score out of 10, I think that's a very, very good solid seven and a half. Pretty good. Right, everyone, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you again very, very soon for another episode of Thirsty Thursday or Homebrew Wednesday. Cheers guys, be seeing you.